Hey guys, CB Super. So I made a couple shockwaves, and if you're interested in downloading them, they're on a black background. All you have to do is up in the right hand corner, you'll see a link. Either uh, go click on that link and just download them, or you can jump over into the uh, the description. There should be a link in the description as well. You can uh, just download it off my Dropbox. Totally free. It's three different versions. Just got done making them a few minutes ago. Uh, if I jump over here to the timeline, you can see uh, basically all they are is there are three different versions of fast noise that has been animated to um, kind of explode out from a singular point in, uh, in kind of like a radial fashion. And then uh, all I did is I composited it into this little clip here and added a little bit of color. And now you can see you got kind of a, a neat little shockwave effect that's coming from the Earth. Uh, this background and this planet, that's just stock footage off of Pixabay. And really quickly, I'll show you how to utilize this footage um, if you're interested. All right, so in here, that's that's all I did for this. You can see I just took the media, color corrected it, put a glow on it, merged it onto um, the other background, and then added an ellipse. But let's go ahead and do another one. And so it'll look like this, and all you have to do is kind of just pick whichever one you want. We'll just, we'll use this one right here. We'll cut it, delete that. Let's go ahead and jump in, and I'll show you how to do this real quick. All right, so as it is, you have this clip here, and if uh, you play it through, you can see this is it from start to finish. Um, let's go ahead and bring in this planet, which all the planet is, is it's just a revolving shot on a space background. You can also make your own space backdrop, which I have um, a little tool that will be coming later on. It's just a, a space background tool. All right, so let's go ahead and disconnect this. So in order to use this, all we really have to do is just merge it on top of another piece of footage. And then in the apply mode, go over to screen. And now you can see it's already doing pretty much what it's, it's designed to do, which is just create some kind of a shockwave effect, right? Now, of course, um, the shockwave is taking place in front of the planet, which we don't want. We want it to actually take place behind the planet. So in order to do that, all we have to do is click on this merge and then hit the ellipse tool. We can size it down. Get in nice and close so you can kind of see. And then invert it check it looks pretty good um, we can also add a little bit of soft edge to that just to kind of blur it a little bit around the edges now let's just go ahead and organize this so it makes sense now in here if we want to colorize this which we're probably going to want to just add in some kind of color corrector node there's a bunch of nodes you could use to do this but I think the color corrector is kind of the easiest and just you know put it to whatever color you want if you want blue we can go blue, green, maybe it'll be like kind of a yellow, it's weird. Okay, so anyways, we'll just stick with kind of a blue. Now if we want some kind of a, maybe we want a glow or something, we can type in a glow, and blend it down, pipe it out. And of course, just layer in a bunch of different effects. Now, we only have one effect layered on here. You could layer on tons of different effects. In fact, on the demo that I did for another video, I think I layered on two different shockwaves, uh, an energy and a shockwave. And all that does is just the more times you layer things into your scene, the more complex that scene's gonna get. And honestly, like usually the cooler it's gonna look. Now there's uh, you know um, a point of diminishing returns at some point, all right, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys are interested, I can show you how I made these. Uh, if you look up into the right-hand corner, there'll be a little link. If you want to click on that link, it'll show you how I actually made um, something very similar to this. And then also use some stock effects from uh, Triune Digital's uh, Shockwave Pack and the Infinity Kit uh, just to do you know, slightly different things. You might have already seen it in the demo or on my Instagram. So, well, that's pretty much it for me. If you guys have any questions, please leave it down in the comments. If, uh, if you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.